Ooh, I almost got it. Yes! Oh my god! That's a big one! That's a big snake! Wait, there's a lot of fish moving right now. That's a good sign. A lot of fish moving. I hear that owl. We'll probably hear some turkeys out here today, too. <laughs> oh, what a terrible cast. Terrible cast. Damn. That is not the way to start the day. Yes. I think she got off. Damn it. Nope, he's on. I got him on the tree. He's stuck on the tree. Okay. I kept seeing some movement up in the shallows. You have bass, you have shad, you have snakehead, you have carp. Everything's up in the shallows right now. And they're all making a bunch of noise and movement. Now, ouch. There are some ways to tell apart what you're seeing in the shallows. The shad, if you watch closely enough, long enough, you'll see their backs coming out of the water and you'll get to know the sound they make in terms of them splashing around. Conversely, the pop of a snakehead, which I haven't heard too much today, unfortunately. Once you've heard the pop of a snakehead a few times, you become very aware of what that sounds like as well. Now the bass here, I don't, sometimes, sometimes I see bass blow up, but I feel like I usually see bass more so because of them making a wake in the water as they're swimming around. All right, Gordon. There she goes. But yep, I switched over to a weightless zoom fluke because, I mean, I've been trying it all, folks. I've tried buzz baits. I've tried chatter baits. I've tried, I mean, between all of us, we've tried jerk baits, skitter pops, um, you know, swim baits, chatter, the list goes on. I've tried everything I could think to try out here. And I wasn't getting anything. I mean, honestly, I haven't fished a zoom fluke in years. Usually one of my favorite lures, I just I haven't fished that much recently. But I mean, I just put that on. I just cast it to the first area that I saw fish moving around in. And sure enough, Largey grabbed it as soon as it hit the water. So what I'm going to try and do for the next while then is use the zoom flute. Oh, got him. Fish on. Oh, he got off. That was a big snake. Okay, I found the right call. Drop the zoom flukes up in the shallows and the pads. But up in the shallows is the key word here. And she grabbed it and I was dangling it. Wow. I may have really found something here, folks. Damn. That was a good fish. That was a really good fish. Holy crap. Oh, uh, I was trying to drive the hook home on that one. <laughs> All right, little bass. Let's get you out of that tree. There she is. See that? Sometimes it's good when ducks spook. 
That's where the snakehead are. Right over there. God, that's a terrible noise that duck makes, though. Oh. Oh, I just had one go for it. I had one shoot out to it, but he got away from him too fast. I think it went away too quickly. But if I can't... Oh, spooked another one. Oh, there's some fish over here. There's that. Oh, my Jesus, another one. Wow, there are snakehead all over the shoreline. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think that was her. Oh. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Did you see the size of that fish? That was a giant, giant fish. Well, folks, I had a giant. I had a monster, and she dug me down on this stuff and got off. Look at that. Sneak it everywhere in here. I'm doing some aggressive pop trying to take them off. Oh. Oh. Ooh, what did I say? What did I say? Just missing it. Why you gotta miss it though? Let miss it. Oh my! What the? How? 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 Oh, come on! Oh. So Folks, this is not going well. Cast it over there, right down that lane. Fish picks it up. Hook him. He goes airborne. Another one goes airborne with him. They both land on a third one. <laughs> I, can't, I can't make this stuff up. I can't even make it up. I mean, that was just insane. It was right there. One of them picked it up. I hooked him. He jumped. Another one jumped, and they landed on a third. All these fish are biting short today, man. I mean, it's just short strike after short strike after short strike. And I mean, some of them are absolute gargantuan monster snakehead. I mean, double digit snakehead beyond any doubt, beyond the shadow of a doubt. When I'm done with this code, I'm going to go home. This is a... Uh... Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, what the... F what the... F no, the hooks are angled up, man. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, every time you set the hook, there are probabilities at play about, you know, how the, the bait's positioned in its mouth, where the hook's facing, you know, are you setting up, are you setting to the side? There's just so many little factors at play. And, you know, sometimes when all that math comes out, it works in your favor and you're fighting the fish. And, the... and other times you do that. <laughs> Other times you just miss fish after fish. And that's, boy, that's just life. That's just life in fishing. I was trying to be about four feet to the right. But okay. I'll work the cast just in case. I just, I hear, oh, movement. Yes. Fish on. Finally. Oh, finally, a snakehead. <laughs> Not a big guy. But man, has she been a long time coming. Now, folks, I do not recommend doing what I'm doing right now. It's not that bad or dangerous because it's a small snakehead. But generally speaking, when they can do that, you don't want to be holding braided line, especially if your hands are wet from the rain or something like that. If your hands are wet and you're holding braided line like that and they shake... God, they're popping all over the place up here. There we go. So easy. I'll have you out of here in a jiff. Ah, little bud. Thank you. Well, folks, as you heard me saying, that's why I cast it to that point. Because even though I know that big one's in there, 
it doesn't mean there can't be more out from it. Because I mean, every time I've hooked a snakehead today, or had one spook, or anything like that, for the most part, there's been like three, four, five more snakehead around them that also react. With the moral of that story being, this cove is absolutely full of snakehead. Absolutely full. So casting to these areas before you occupy them with your, you know, your kayak is absolutely crucial because you don't know what you're going to miss if you don't. Oh, I almost got it. Yes. Oh my God. That's a big one. That's a big snake. Yes. Ah. Only thing is she pulled me into the hole of the other one. Ah. Holy crap. I'll pull myself out of here if I can. And give this hole time to reset. Yeah. Now that's more like it. That is more like it. That's a solid fish. Okay, got her. She's actually bleeding, bleeding kind of badly. Oh, for goodness sake. She shook right off the lip rippers. <laughs> Back on the lip rippers. There. There's a shot of her, folks. Oh, you almost pooped on me. Not today, punk. Not today. I could have had it out by now. You know that, right? There we go. There we go. And the amount of slime they put off. When they're frightened or stressed, is just incredible. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's why you put a float on. <laughs> hey! Man! There we go. <laughs> I'm going to show you off. That's it. I'm showing you off. But as you can see here, folks, I started to crack the code on these short striking snakehead. And it essentially has two elements. One, downsize. Two, slow it down. But you go ahead and get bigger there, beauty, and I'll catch you next time. Whew. Got one. Thought I had the camera on. Sorry about that one, folks. That was a heck of a strike. Heck of a strike. And what a gorgeous specimen. Let me lay her down gently in the hopes that... Uh, that won't freak her out as much. I know this is going to feel very threatening, but I promise it's not as big a deal as you think. Oh, there you go. That'll work. Got herself off. <laughs> I would love to get a picture of you because you're so pretty. Your coloration is just absolutely marvelous. So let me do this. There we go. Oh, I can actually because the way I had this rigged up, clip it off to my vest. I think a better plan would be to have a D-ring and use a D-ring for the same purpose. But still, the goal remains the same. And I think makes a lot of sense. That way, as you're trying to get your hands free with everything you need, they can just chill in the water. Let's get your picture gorgeous. Look at that coloration. Marvelous fish. All right. I love seeing them swim off like this. I really need to find some clear water snakehead and get some great video there. It's a good cast. It's a good cast. I just had one miss it over here. Oh. 
Got him. Yes. Another bad one. Another bad little one. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Well, on the bright side, she shook the hook free. All right, folks. Every time I'm out here, I do at least one PDL drive well release. I think it's time for that release. You missed it. You missed it again. Right here as well is a very clear showcase of just how adept snakehead are at moving backward. <laughs> I just had one follow it and not hit. Yes! No, 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 get up, get up. Yes. Come on over here, bro. Oh man, bro, I don't know what it is about this little cove, but it's the literally like, it's literally like the only place I've seen snakehead all day. I, I mean, like I've caught, I've caught four or five out of it, missed at least twice as many. I, I mean, I, I don't know what it is, but yeah, come in, come in here and fish this and especially this line going back, man. I mean, I, I know it's shallow. I know it gets a lot of sun. So I'm sure that's part of it, but man. Yeah, he's, he's pretty decent, pretty decent. All right, what, low 20s or so. All right, you. Now that last snakehead release, through the PDL drive well didn't go as smoothly as it should have. That guy had to figure it out. This guy, he gets it pretty much straight off the bat. But man, they've been killing me with the short strikes. All I mean, they were killing me with the short strikes all day. I mean, just all freaking day. We just uh, work a little bit slower than that. Do, do some more pauses and then just keep an eye out for movement. And that's when I really slow it down is when I see one of them gain interest. So in summary, folks, that's how I deal with snakehead when they're short striking. I downsize and I slow it down. There's a few other baits you can use to try to make sure the hook is as far to the rear of the lure as possible. But I think even more than that is downsizing and slowing it down. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. If there's other topics you want me to weigh in on when it comes to fishing and snakehead, let me know that too. Please like, share, and subscribe, and y'all have a good one.